Yo what's up guys and welcome back to brand new video here on my channel And in today's video I'm going to show you a few more extra steps you can do Which are super easy to gain more FPS and reduce your input delay on Fortnite And if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe Gear Up Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connection. So get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. So first guys you have to do is go into search your window and type in device until you find the device manager. And once you open up that window literally straight up, go here down until you find the system devices. Just simply open this here up and then under 8, you can see a high precision event timer. And you guys, all you have to do is simply right click on it and press disable device and then simply go on yes here and you already completed the step. If it looks exactly like mine that here, there's like the small arrow means that this device is disabled. And trust me this is super unnecessarily. Nothing can happen and this will only boost your FPS. And now let's continue with the next step. So now go to my website I give link in description and download the pros. Zero delay and max F's boost pack from this website. And as you guys downloaded the program successfully, just simply drag it onto your desktop and double click on it. And as you can see this new installer here pops up. And now we can see guys that it's gonna show us exactly which CPU we running. For me it's AMD Ryzen 740 700X with 8 cores and 16 frets. And as you can see, my stalker speed is right now 3.59 GHz. And now here on the top, this is where the magic happens boys. Here we get the CPO settings for power profile. And we're just simply gonna click on this drop down menu and go to bit some highest performance. This is the best mode guys by the way, um you can use whatever you want, but the bits some highest performances give Ghana. you the maximum amount of FPS, and as you can see, everything got already changed here automatically. We don't need to apply anything for ourselves, and obviously you don't want to put in like a low power mode here on top, because we just want to boost it to the maximum. Just to sum this up real quick guys, um this program does automatically determine which are the best settings for your CPU. And as you can see, it's gonna adjust the boost settings here, all by himself and just simply click here on apply. And the new settings have been applied but what i would also recommend you is to enable the bitsum dynamic boost since this is like a better power plan than the high performance one we already enabled in previous tutorials just gonna read it out real quick this handy feature forces the pc to be on bitsum highest performance power plan while active but the lowest the cpu the more conservative power plan when it goes idle and what is this pretty much is gonna boost or apply like this new power plenty guys which we have to set up here again I and disrupt how many as you can see when the PC I'll is. use the bits and highest performance one. And we're just gonna gonna press here OK. And then here OK. As well and as you can see, the new power plan has been applied guys. And this is always gonna make sure that your CPU and your system or wall is running at 100%. As a next step guys, I'm gonna recommend you the GR booster. Which you can trade for absolutely With free. the link in description. Just make sure that you launch the tool and select Fortnite. And it's gonna automatically find for you the best DNS server in your near. For the least amount of latency. As you can see I only get 11 milliseconds latency. Which is giving me already a huge improvement of over 100%. I've been using this for any game switch. I'm playing here right now on my PC. And the best part about it is. It's also served searching actively in the background while you're actually playing for the best DNS service. It's consistently also showing you, you the connection between your PC and the router and the router and the actual game server. So therefore as mentioned, make sure you check it out with the in link. description. So now type in run until you find the run application. Just simply open it up and in here type in M. S config just simply written out like this. Just simply press OK here and the new system configuration window here should pop up and if we go over to boot, we can see now that we get the advanced options here for our current operating system. And yeah, just simply opened up here, advanced options, and then we see your number of processors. And usually it's just on one here. Just simply put the check in here. And now you can put the maximum amount of frets. And since I'm running a 8 core 16 fret CBU, I can put it all the way up to 16 guys. And this is exactly what I would recommend. You just simply put the highest number possible in there to just make sure that your CPO is running at 100% and all the cores and all the extra frets are utilized always. And then just simply press OK press here. Press apply, press OK again. And now it says you are. Um, that you should probably restart your PC. Everything to apply correctly. Um, you can do this later on. I would recommend you to just watch the rest of the video. So you apply all the steps and then restart your PC. But you can of course also do right now. But I'm gonna do it later so yeah. I'm just gonna press your exit without reset. Now all you guys have to do is Search go into bar a and type in power. Until you find the edit power plan in the control panel settings. And then just simply open it up. And then you see here the change. Advanced power settings thing. Just simply click on it can minimize this window. And all we have to care about is the power options. Type here and all you guys have to do is simply scroll a bit down until you find PCI Express. Just simply press the plus here and then you see link state power management again. Press the plus. And as you can see this setting here is set to off. 
For some people it might be on moderate power savings. Maximum power savings. Just simply make sure it's set to off. And with that, we make sure that our GPO is always running at 100%. So we get the max FPS and the lowest input delay possible. Then just simply press apply press OK. And you already successfully apply this step as well.